What's up, everybody? I did my 47th live stream last night. I almost can't believe I've done so many so far. It was kind of a choppy session at the start. Uh, there was a lot of yellow news, which is usually not very impactful unless there are multiple entries. Definitely had some heavier news at 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Multiple yellows or oranges can definitely make some waves with the price action. Um, and if the news is substantial enough, it can actually swing you out of a trade if you're already in one. So look out for that. But usually if a session starts off really choppy, I'll give it about an hour before some decent trades show up. And that happened again here. Um, I took not one, but two trades before the session opened, which is a big, big mistake. Each session open is usually very chaotic and can actually reverse trends. It, it's almost always best to wait to take anything until after a few minutes after the open. Uh, and the only time I really recommend taking trades before the open are really solid EMA pullbacks on heavy trends. Those trades, they have so much momentum behind them that it's very difficult for them to fail even through a news event. So I took four trades all together. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. All right, so the first trade I took uh, was on the AUD USD and like I said I took this a little bit before the session opened uh, I was looking at the hour chart and this was actually off of a news event so this big spike here was at I believe 9 30 the, the previous day so let me go ahead and look here uh, so it was Monday yeah Monday night at 9 30 you see this AUD two really heavy news events and that's where all that movement came from. It also affected the AUD NZD the same way. So usually when you get a, a big spike from a news event and the pair really shouldn't be that high up, it's just going to come back down. And that's what happened over here, as you can see. And it also happened over here. It just took a lot longer since the AUD USD is one of the major pairs. Um, so the logic of me going short here was that it was going to come down at that point but it ended up putting in a double top which is normal which it should do um so really what i should have done here instead of going short is i, I should have gone long like a five pip stop loss and a 15 pip take profit really fast trade too it only took like 20 minutes to go through um, so I did that one backwards I went short instead of long at the wrong point uh, so that was my fault I was a little bit I don't know I guess I was a little bit nervous the market was so choppy so I was just trying to get things done faster and you know I was just kind of rushing but anyways that was my first trade I took so that was the, the first loss in my three in a row um, and then I also took a long trade here I was making on the dollar uh, going up which it did so the start of the session was right here and I said okay the dollar probably will go up from there and like I said it did it did take a minute for it to happen though um, so this trade here once again I took before the open this is why you don't take trades before the open you just have to wait uh, so this one I went long here thinking thinking that it would be a nice EMA uh, pullback let's see this one I believe I had the stop loss like right in there let's see I think I had like a four yeah, it was like a four pip stop loss and a 12 pip take profit a really tight trade with a tight stop loss um, usually that would be a nice EMA pull back there now what I should have done is move the stop down to where this line is here that's that last uh, support level so if I'd have moved it under there out of one the trade so if I would have just moved the stop here 12 pip stop loss and 36 it's way up there 36 take profit I would have been fine and um, I actually took two trades on the same move 
uh, and I did not put the stop far down enough and I ended up getting stopped out of both and then as you can see it ended up going through right after so that was just a mistake on my part and that's something that it, uh, I have to remember in the future definitely keep the support and resistance levels in mind when you're taking your trades it's only a couple more pips to go down here so there was no reason for me to not have done that um so there was that 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 uh put me to those um three trades in a row three losses in a row rather and i came back later on in the session so this was a little bit after I had already ended the stream and I took one more trade actually. Yes, I broke my rule. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> and I went with a, I believe a nine pip stop loss here. So this was that first move that I originally wanted, but I was just too early. Um, so that ended up going through over here. So I lost three in a row and then I recouped it with that one trade. So it ended up just being break even for the day. Overall, made a, a ton of mistakes. And, uh, you know, it was really just one of those learning lesson streams. At least I broke even. So it's not like I lost money. But um, yeah, definitely learned a lot. And uh, I see why I put a lot of these rules in in the first place. So I did break even for the session, which isn't too bad. Like I mentioned, I do have a rule in my trading plan that states if I lose three trades in a row, I have to immediately leave the session. I put this in place to prevent myself from revenge trading on choppy sessions. Like I said yesterday, you can easily turn a 2 or 3% loss into a 10 or 15% loss if you keep trying to recoup losses when the pairs are not trending. Now, I'll be honest here, I did technically break my three in a row rule. I came back maybe half an hour after I ended the stream and I took one more trade. And that last uh, AUD USD trade, which I was too early on the first time. And that one actually recovered my other three losses and it put me back to zero for the session. So I'll take this session as a learning lesson. Number one, do not take trades before the open except for super good EMA pullbacks. And number two, during choppy sessions, you definitely have to be more patient and possibly wait until later on in the session when the pairs have decided on a direction. Don't take trades just to be taking trades. Wait for high quality moves that have large potential of being winners. So there's my recap for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. And I'll be back for tonight's live stream at 1130 Pacific time. Remember to always trade responsibly and I'll see you guys then.